Hi everyone, Paolo here. Welcome back to the channel where I make how to videos from Mac tips, backend, Swift, Salesforce, and game development. This is another Unreal Engine tutorial. This is part of my character animation how to series. In this second part of the series, we're going to learn how to use the skeletons in Unreal Engine. When I first started learning Unreal Engine, this is the part that is most foreign to me and the character animation was always taunting. It took some time for me to wrap my head around it and I'll try my best to break it down to the basics like what are skeletons and what is it used for, how to import or create a skeleton, and how to create and share skeleton between skeletal meshes. Skeleton and skeletal meshes work hand in hand. A skeleton is a hierarchical set of interconnected bones, sometimes called as joints, which could be used to animate the vertices of the polygon, which is what makes up the skeletal mesh. I'll cover the skeletal mesh in more detail in a future video. I'll just focus on the skeleton for now. So the skeleton asset is used for the foundation of all animation work with the skeletal mesh. They are used to store the associated animation data. So what I have here is the third person template and we'll just quickly inspect the assets that are already available to us. So if I go under characters here, there's two folders, the UE4 and the mannequins. So the mannequins is for UE5. If I go under meshes here, I would see several files, one of them being the skeleton, and I have four skeletal mesh in here. So if I open up the skeleton, this is the uh, skeletal mesh, and this is the skeleton of the skeletal mesh. So here's the hierarchy or the bone structure. If you want to see the visual um, representation of those bones, go under character, then bones, and select all hierarchy. And you would see that this is the hierarchy of bones for this particular mesh. So on the left side here, the skeleton tree, we have this icons, which is not, show, it's not showing uh, full, it's hollow. These are bones that doesn't affect the vertices of the polygon or the skeletal mesh. These are going to be used for auxiliary, like uh, attaching weapons, those kind of stuff. The ones that are full are the actual bones. So here we have the pelvis and from the pelvis from the zero five, zero 01 down to zero 05. And then we have a clavicle and then we have this icons here. The, they look hollow as well, a uh, circle. These are bones that this particular mesh is not using. So the particular mesh right now is SKM Queen Simple. And this, part, and this particular skeleton is shared across these four skeletal meshes. So only the skeletal mesh that uses the additional bones uh, would show in this preview. So if I swap this over to SKM Quinn, you would see that the bone, and I click on apply to asset here, you would see that the skeletal mesh didn't change, but the bone for this skeletal mesh are more. So like for example, the, the clavicle out, the sculpt that were grayed out on the previous skeletal mesh, they're now available to be used by this particular skeletal mesh. So the same is true with the other two skeletal mesh here. So SKM simple, it's a bit wider, the skeletal mesh and skeletal uh, SKM many uses a bit more bones. So basically one skeleton shared across multiple skeletal mesh and depending on the skeletal mesh, it could use uh, additional bones. So the additional bones that got added here are just uh, like, for example, here are uh, additive to the particular bone hierarchy. It's not um, totally different from the current structure. It's just additional bones. Also on the skeleton here, you would see the different animation data. So here we have some uh, animation notifies. Uh, we'll have animation curves, slot, uh, retarget sources, blend profiles, and uh, mass. Uh, just for now, know that animation data is also stored with the particular skeleton. Let me just quickly show the difference between the UE4 uh, mannequin 
with this UE5 one. So if I open the skeleton here, you would see that the skeleton structure is different for uh, the UE5 and uh, UE4. Even though, even the simple one, let me go to the simple and apply that. You would see the skeleton is different. So this one is only up to 0 0.5. This one is up to 0 0.3. So how do you create a skeleton in Unreal Engine? So normally you would import a skin uh, character or an FBX file. An FBX file is a file format used to exchange 3D geometry and animation data. These are normally created from your 3D modeling software like Maya, 3D Max, Blender. You could also get some free character or skin uh, character and animation in FBX format from Miximo plus some other websites. So here um, I have Miximo open. Uh, it's free. You could sign up for it. You could grab some characters and some animation data. So just to quickly show you, um, when I hit on download here, the file format is FBX. So the one that um, Unreal Engine supports is FBX. And then I have the typos. Um, if I cancel this and pick one of this animation data and when I hit download here um, you have the options for skin so with skin means you download both the uh, skin or the skeletal mesh and the skeleton with the animation or without skin it would just be the animation data without the skeleton information so you can go ahead and download those. I already downloaded these items. So we're going to try to create a new skeleton out of this um, FBX. So if I go back here and go under here, and I'll just create a new folder under here and just call this Miximal, like so. And on my finder here, I have uh, several FBX files. So the one that I'm going to first import is just the skeletal mesh for the skeleton. So if I drag and drop that here, I'm going to get this FBX import option. It's going to import the skeletal mesh. If I don't specify a skeleton, I could select a skeleton here. But if the hierarchy of bones doesn't match the skeletal mesh, it's going to complain uh, it's also going to try first to merge if it could merge it, uh, but this is going to fail. So what you will do is leave this black if you know that the skeleton is different. And you could keep the other settings as is and click on import. Um, you normally get this error when you're importing FPX. You could ignore that. And let me put that here. So it created the material plus the texture and it created the skeletal mesh for me on this uh, three items here plus the physics asset. So I'll, I'll create a new folder and just say call it mesh and I'll move these three files in there. Cool. I'll go inside and I'm going to open up the skeleton here. So if I open up the skeleton here, you would see that this particular skeletal mesh has this skeleton information. So the bone hierarchy is totally different from any of those uh, bones that we saw for the uh, SK Manny or the UE4 bone. So this bone uh, structure doesn't follow the same hierarchy bones. So I won't be able to share the animation from this um, bone to any of the characters that I already have. That's because the bone are not the same. So what you would do here is what we call a retargeting. So you would retarget the bones so that you could share the animation with a different skeletal mesh. I'll cover that in a future video. Uh, but for now, we're just covering the skeleton here. So the this would create a skeleton. So as you can see, the other way to create a skeleton, so I could close this out now. So the other way to create a skeleton is if you go to a skeletal mesh. So if I go back to man here, 
and click on meshes here so any of this skeletal meshes if you right click um, you could create a skeleton so if I do that it would create a new skeleton for me so now what what has happened is this skm queen simple is now using this new skeleton that I just created so if I open this up you would see that this is a totally new skeleton. I could tell because the animation information here is no longer available. There's no more uh, notifies, curves, and all of that. Those were associated to the previous skeleton. So this new skeleton that we created is only applicable at the moment to this particular skeletal mesh. So if I click here, the preview mesh is just the quin simple. So I could go back and update the other meshes and try to and make them reference this new skeleton if I wanted so. So that is how you would um, create a new skeleton. So there's a new tool, it's still experimental, which is the skeletal mesh editor, which would allow you to create bones. So instead of going to your uh, 3D modeling software to create bones and then importing them to Unreal Engine, you could modify the bones, the weights, and all of that in that experimental feature. I'll cover that again on a future video because that would be too much for this uh, particular intro. So one thing I also want to share is the, if I go to Epic Games, if you grab this stylized character kit, Casual01, download it and add it to your project, which I already did. If I open up that SCK casual here and go under models and pre-made characters you would see that there's additional skeletal meshes here if I open this up so this particular skeletal mesh is interesting so this is based off the UE4 mannequin but because it was added through the marketplace and added to the project it created its own uh, UE4 mannequin as you can tell here it says UE4 mannequin skeleton the one that comes with the third person character um, template is SK mannequin skeleton so they're basically identical so they're the same so technically um, if I export this if I go ahead and click export here uh, asset actions and click on export it's going to export it as an fbx file i'm going to save that and then i'm gonna for the export option i'm just going to default everything i'm going to not going to change anything cool all right cool so now i'm going to import that to a new project so here i have a blank project so here I have a blank project, third person again. It has the UE4 and um, remember that the UE4 already has its own mannequin, the SK mannequin skeleton. So if I go back here and say, create a new folder called casual and um, go to my finder. So here I'm gonna drag and drop this to the content drawer and I'm gonna get this uh, import option. So, and for the FBX option here, it's gonna create a skeletal mesh, leave that tick. And for the skeleton, I could select the SK mannequin skeleton. So if I do that and click on import all, I'm gonna get this warning, which is fine. Um, it's gonna import the character, but the weird thing with the X FBX export on uh, Unreal Engine, it doesn't export the material or the texture. So if I open this particular skeletal mesh and I do the bones hierarchy, it's using the UE4 mannequin. And if I click here, if you could tell from the path, it's using the SK mannequin skeleton. So it didn't create a new skeleton. So as long as the bone structure is the same, it would use that uh, same skeleton. Cool. Um, one thing I want to show you is I want to add this to here, to my level here. Also going to grab the um, skeletal mesh many here. And I'm also going to grab um, the mannequin from 
I'm just gonna grab the scout mesh and we're gonna grab SK man here. And then we're gonna do something to animate all of these guys. So starting with the casual character mesh that we have under animation here, I'm gonna change that to animation asset and the anim to play. If I click on that, you would see there's only one animation sequence here. So this is the only animation data associated with that skeleton that it has. And then the same here for the animation for the UE4, for its animation, use animation asset, and it's jog forward because it's the same skeleton and this is their animation data information. But if I go to mannequin here, our character, use animation asset, anim to play, I have a lot more animation information. So if I go to MM, run forward and just quickly test this out right so i could see the guys running um those two guys are running on the jog forward and ue5 is running on its own animation so i want to share that run animation to this two skeleton to do this two skeletal mesh basically the animation data i want it copied or shared with the skeleton of this one so how do we do that? So if I open up the skeleton here, as you remember, there's some animation data here and all of that, plus the this all this animation. Um, if I go under window and go under retarget sources, under manage compatible skeleton, I could click on add. And I'm going to say the skeleton, SK mannequin skeleton is compatible. I'm going to hit save on that and I'm also think going back to the SK mannequin here and just make sure I save that as well. And when I go back to my level, if I select the UA4 and anim to play, I will, should now have more additional animation information. So now I could do the run forward. And because this skeletal mesh is using the same skeleton. It should have that same animation information. So mm run for it. And now all these three guys are sharing the same animation data because uh, one skeleton information is compatible with the other skeleton information. And, and the, the adding of skeleton here is bidirectional. So any animation data by the ue4 like the jog forward should now be available to this character as well cool so that is it that's the crux for the skeleton um if you have comments or questions leave them on the comment section below and please subscribe to my youtube channel and watch out for future videos cheers bye for now